All right, June 2019, question number two, A says simplify, it says simplify completely, I, um, 3P square times 4P to the fifth. So this is, um, this would be equal to 3 times 4 times P square times p to the fifth. All right, so normally I would write it out like this. So let's multiply the numbers. Three fours are 12. Um, p, now, um, if you're multiplying and the base is the same, you must add the indices. So that's from your law of indices. So this is two plus five. So the answer here is 12 p raised to the power seven. The next part of the question are I, I, A, I, I. A, I, I says um, 3x over um, 3x over 4y cube divided by 21x square over 20y square. All right, so if I'm going to work this, I'd write about the first fraction, which is 3x over 4x4y cube. Change the division sign to multiplication and invert. So we're going to have 20y squared over, at the bottom, we have 21x squared. All right, so next I would start canceling. 3 into 3, 1. 3 into 21 is 7. 4 into 4 is 1. 4 into 20 is 5. All right, so that take care, take care of the numbers. Um, x goes into x squared, x times. And y squared goes into y cubed, y times. So at the top, all I have left is 5. Down at the bottom, I have what y times 7 times x. So that would be 7xy. So your final answer is 5 over 7xy. Next. All right. Now, in this part of the question, we're asked to solve the equation 3 over 7x minus 1 plus 1 over x is equal to 0. So this is an equation involving fractions. One strategy for dealing with this is to find the LCM, use the LCM, and then discard the LCM. So the LCM here would be x into 7x minus 1. That's the LCM. Now 7x minus 1 into um, x into 7x minus 1 is um, x. The 7x minus 1 cancels the 7x minus 1 leave x. x times 3 is 3x plus one plus x into the denominator was 7x minus 1. 7x minus 1 times 1 is 7x minus 1. And this is equal to 0. Or you can say, you can put the 0 over 1 if you want, and say 1 into all of that is all 1 into x multiplied by 7x minus 1 is x multiplied by 7x minus 1 times 0, which is 0. So I found the LCM. I use the LCM. Next, I'm going to discard the LCM. Right, let's just let's do a little change here. All right, so let's just write out the entire thing. 3 over 7x minus 1 plus 1 over x is equal to 0 over 1. The LCM is x into 7x minus 1, um, 7x minus 1, I mean, I don't need to say it all over again. So this is 3x 
plus 7x minus 1, and this is equal to 0. So I found the LCM, use the LCM, so I'm going to discard. So now I have 3x plus 7x minus 1 is equal to 0. I have 10x is equal to 1. So the negative 1 goes over and become positive. Divide both sides by 10. So now I have, um, so therefore, x is equal to 1 over 10. x is equal to 1 over 10. All right, let's go to the C part of the question. The C part of the question says, when a number x is multiplied by 2, the result, um, the result is squared to give a new number y. Express y, i is asking us to express y in terms of x. So in order for us to get y, we have the new number, um, a number x is multiplied by what? 2 and the result is squared. So we could say y is equal to that, or we could say could square it and say y is equal to 4x squared. So y is equal to 4x squared. Moving down. So next we're told, where it said, Next, we said we're asked to determine um, the two values of x which satisfy the equation y is equal to x and the equation derived in C i. All right, so we have two equations y is equal to x, and the one derived from C i is y is equal to 4x squared. And we're asked to determine the two values of x that satisfy the, equ the two equations. All right, so in other words, we're being asked to solve the equation simultaneously. All right, so y is equal to x, and y is also equal to 4x squared. So therefore, 4x squared, which is y, is equal to x, which is also y. Um, this is a simple quadratic equation, we have 4x squared, um, positive x comes over and become negative, is equal to 0. So one of the first steps when solving a quadratic equation is to ensure that one side of the equation is equal to 0. Let us then factorize. x is common, so let's put x outside. Um, x into 4x squared is 4x and x into x is 1, so, and this is equal to 0. So now we're multiplying two numbers and we're getting 0. When you're multiplying two numbers and you're getting 0, it is either the first number is 0, or the second number is 0, or both numbers are 0. So it is x that is equal to 0, or 4x minus 1 that is equal to 0. So therefore, x is equal to 0, or 4x is equal to 1. Divide both sides by 4, and we get x is equal to 0, or x is equal to a quarter, are the values of x that satisfies, that satisfies the two equation. All right? And um, that brings us to the end of question number 2.